So today is the last day that we go without a week of a Kansas City Chiefs football game. And man, it's feeling, I'm feeling pumped and I'm ready for this game. But in this video, we're going to be talking about how this potential duel of Sky Moore and Patrick Mahomes could be something deadly on the field. Because a lot of people have been saying lately that, okay, Sky Moore and Patrick Mahomes, they're going to be the ones. I said the ones. Sky Moore is going to be the one for Patrick Mahomes to step up. And it's really a big chance he could prove himself tomorrow as a good wide receiver because at the end of the day, he's starting. That, that's confirmed. Sky Moore will be starting for this team. So if Sky Moore starts for this team, is he going to do anything on the field? I can see him getting a good amount of yards against the Lions. I think he's ready. I think he's ready to step up. I think he's ready to take that role and have a very good game. But what I want to see from Andy Reid, man, because if Travis Kelce is not going to be playing, we're going to need a big body. I want him to give him, I want him to give Justin Ross a Travis Kelce mode grow. I'm going to make a video on that. That might be today. Yeah, I might do a double upload. But I want a Travis Kelce role for Justin Ross. That's what I want to see. But for Sky Moore and Patrick Mahomes, I want to see what this duo could do. I know Sky Moore is going to be getting a lot of work on the underneath routes, that's for sure. And Patrick Mahomes is definitely going to feed him. Patrick Mahomes is going to have to feed all of his wide receivers and as much as he can as possible because it's going to be very, very hard for the Kansas City Chiefs if none of these receivers are capitalizing off Mahomes' magic, you know? Because Travis Kelce is usually that guy for us. He's at least a 10 to 13 point impact. So now with no Travis Kelce, we're going to need all these dudes to step up because we know the defense probably not going to play the best against the Lions in week one. You know how they start off. You know how our defense start off. But I think they're going to be they're gonna be able to hold it down. I don't think that we're going to get slaughtered by the Lions. That's, that's just not happening, to be honest with you. But I want to see if Scott Moore could be that guy, you know. And if you look on first take with um Shannon and Stephen A. Smith, right, they were saying how Sky Moore is that new dude that's going to take that level. Because they saying year two, Sky Moore is going to be nice and how he's the Tyreek replacement. So basically what we was hearing last year. But now that we know that Sky Moore is starting, we can really like say these things now. Because we already know Andy Reid doesn't give starting wide receiver roles to rookies that much. So last year wasn't that bad for Sky Moore. Last year definitely wasn't that bad for Sky Moore. Him being a rookie and just, you know, coming in and having to do punt returns, that wasn't for him, and it really messed up his confidence. But he ended his season on a Super Bowl touchdown, and we don't know how much that could boost somebody's confidence. So now we're here. We get to see what Sky Moore does and how good of a player that he's going to be. And I just can't wait to see it, man. It's going to be honestly something beautiful to watch. Um, seeing him route run against the Detroit Lions, making great plays against the Detroit Lions. I don't know. I feel like we could definitely beat them with this squad that we have. I mean, why not? We have a very good team, very good offensive line, very great coach, solid defense, um, Hall of Fame quarterback. So what a Hall of Fame quarterback is going to do, he's going to capitalize off whoever he has. And I think even with Kels or without Kels, Patrick Mahomes is still throwing 300 yards. Patrick Mahomes is still throwing three touchdowns. And that's why I betted on it, man, because he has other weapons and he has players that could step up like Noah Gray, Justin Ross. You know, and he got wide receivers like Rasheed Rice, MVS, Justin Watson, Richie James, Scott Moore. So the season is not over just because just because Mahomes is not going to have Kels for two to three games. That's fine. Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes are still a duo, and they're going to capitalize based off what they have. And when we win on Thursday, come back to this video and say I was right. I got to make another video on Thursday as well. So, yeah, man. And a lot of people are saying that Jameer Gibbs is going to make a huge impact for the Detroit Lions. But Spags has already come up with a game plan on how to limit Gibbs because they know that he's going to have to be a problem. So trust me, we're going to limit Gibbs. But not only are we going to limit Gibbs, we're going to limit the riot, the, so the, what? the Lions rushing attack in general. That's something that has to be limited. That's something that has to be limited because we don't want them rushing it up on us and then Mahomes barely touching the ball. We can't see that happen. So at least limit their rushing game and make this a shootout through the air. Then it is what it is, man, because the Chiefs are going to answer every time the Lions score. So if we can make this a shootout through the air, that's probably the best situation possible for us and the best situation possible for PM15. Now, if Travis Kelce was to play, I'm pretty sure he'll still be very limited, but he would still be able to make a lot of plays. And even if he's not playing, him being on the sidelines, 
coaching Noah Gray and Justin Ross, it could really help out. Now, we still got studs on defense like Sneed, McDuffie. But now that we're done with talking about the Sky Moore and Patrick Mahomes talk, I want to touch on our linebackers a little bit. So, when it comes to the linebacker room, they could make a lot of plays because they could blitz. But not only could they blitz, they could also cover. Like, Willie Gay is a linebacker that's really able to cover very well. You got Drew Tranquil who could cover and blitz and stuff like that. Nick Bolton runs stuff in Monster, and I expect him to come out hot. I expect Nick Bolton to come out hot and play very well. Willie Gay, I expect the linebackers to be tackling and bringing a lot of energy with the defense. Now, we know one thing that we're cursed about is getting teams to third down and letting them convert. I don't know what's wrong with our defense, but we always get teams to third down and we let them convert. I know we're going to get the Lions to third down a lot, but it's just a matter of are we going to let them convert? Because, bro, honestly, we can't give up unnecessary points, especially with the way our offense is right now and the state that it's in without Kels. We can't give up unnecessary points. But, I mean, everybody is fully healthy. I, I, mean, I forgot to even mention Kadarius Tony. Kadarius Tony is fully healthy. He's ready to go. So the Chiefs have a lot of talent still on offense. I don't think Travis Kels is, he doesn't, Mahomes averaged 300 yards a game last year, right? Kels wasn't all of them 300 yards. I mean, he was some of them, obviously, but he wasn't all of them 300 yards. Mahomes knows what to do. I don't know why people keep acting like Patrick Mahomes is a quarterback that gets carried or a system quarterback. He knows what to do, man. He's going to follow his dudes. He's going to improvise until people get open. If he has to use his legs, he's going to use his legs, man. We know that for a fact. We, this is what we know about Mahomes. And if the linebacker room could just help out by covering well, blitzing, um, even put them on the edge sometimes, and it's going to be very nice to see. I want to see young dudes like B.J. Thompson, Felice Anudike Usama, um, George Carl Laftis, Neil Farrell, Keandre Colburn. I want to see them step up. I want to see them play well in the D-line. Um, I want to see the secondary do very well. Justin Reed, Mike Edwards, Trent McDuffie, uh, who else? Brian Cook, um, Jamari Connor, uh, Sneed. We know Sneed, what Sneed's going to do. Joshua Williams, Jalen Watson, Darius Rush if he plays. So I ain't going to lie, like, we have a big chance to still win. I mean, we have a lot of depth on defense, so I don't think it's going to be an easy battle for the Lions. If we could just get some pressure, then we'll be 100% fine. Carl has got a lot of pressure last year, and we're going to adapt to no Chris Jones and no Kels, and we're going to still go out there and get this dub. So I don't know. That's so why I, I, I just believe in my team. I believe that we're going to be good no matter what, and I believe in the Chiefs' success. But we're going to see tomorrow night. I might have another video coming for y'all later. If not, I got y'all tomorrow. But I got y'all tomorrow regardless. But I might make another one tonight. We're going to see though. Cheese priority and I'm out. Peace.